The Bible is now the greatest instrument in creating false industries in the continent of Africa. And that is not to be celebrated. It is to be frowned upon. Christianity as we know it today in the continent of Africa was midwifed to us in the continent through Europe, through the missionaries. When they came, they were reading the very same Bible that we are reading today. When they sat in Berlin and were dividing the continent of Africa, they were reading the same Bible that we are reading today. The same Bible in which in Paul's letter to the Galatians at chapter 3, 28, he says, There are no Jews, no Gentiles, no slave, no free, no woman, no man. They read that verse. It was not interpolated later after they came. They read it. But they came here and conquered us. They came here and discriminated against us. The same Bible. They were being mentored by that very same Bible. They came here when they had divided the body of Christ. The English had appropriated the religion in 1534 and they now had their Anglican church complete with the monarch as its head. The Scots had appropriated their own and they had the Presbyterian church. The Roman Catholics were even bolder. They called it the Roman Catholic Church. So that even when they are in Uganda, it is not Ugandan Catholic Church, it is the Roman Catholic Church. And you are going there and you are saying you are Roman Catholic Church. In apartheid South Africa, they are the Dutch Reformed Church, which became the foundation stone upon which apartheid was articulated in 1948 by Hendrik Fafut and his cohorts. So the Bible has been misused. Don't be cheated. Let's not be nice to each other because we are Christians. The Bible has been misused. It has been used to support slavery. It has been used to support colonization. It has been used to pervert the truth that is the bible that we are saying we ought to rediscover